The COVID in Colorado that's affecting our workplace. While the state labor department says the numbers don't necessarily show a labor shortage in Colorado, a number of industries would disagree. Just this week, the Colorado Restaurant Association released numbers on a study showing 92% of restaurants are having trouble hiring staff. Last night, we told you about child care facilities reporting staff shortages, and now our rural hospitals struggling with staff as we come out of this pandemic. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt joins us live tonight. And Karen, we can't stress it enough. Workers are badly needed. Absolutely, Karen. And some of these smaller communities, they already have a hard time competing with our major metro hospitals. In southern Colorado, the hospitals I spoke with say that they're having to rely on temp agencies to staff their hospital. In the eastern plains, it's a very similar story. And all of this is happening as they're trying to bounce back from a whirlwind year. While COVID isn't over, some rural Colorado hospitals are now assessing their post-pandemic pulse. Where we are now, it sort of ebbs and flows up and down, depending on the month and the season. David Engel, the CEO of Southeast Colorado Hospital District, says as they start to return to pre-pandemic care, there's one area they continue to struggle in. We are seriously low on staff. You, you mentioned any area, whether it's environmental services, whether it's nursing, where it's lab, x-ray, uh, therapy, all of our areas, we need people. In eastern Colorado, there's a similar story to be told. Rachel Smith is the nursing director at Lincoln Community Hospital and Care Center. As a whole, the facility and the area need help. I still think that there's a population that, you know, is, is hesitant. Community-wide, we are seeing a deficit in the workforce coming back. Both say pandemic-related funding has been key in maintaining operations, but uncertainty about whether some of it will need to be paid back has ignited a bigger discussion about the need for continued support in our rural areas. So anytime we get the opportunity to, you know, have access to that additional funding anytime that we can absorb that and not have to pay it back. That's a huge benefit. We are the lifeblood for the rural areas. Now, it's not to say that these hospitals are not trying to be competitive with some of our major metro hospitals. They are trying to offer signing bonuses. They're recruiting internationally right now. But all of that is done on a limited basis because they operate on such small revenue margins. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.